right guys, bit of a shop tip today on how to change streamer, uh, how to change fuel lines or fuel pipes on streamers. This is a pole saw, but I'm just going to class it as a streamer just to show you. Uh, chainsaws, anything with this style of fitting, you get the camera and show you. The darker it is, this is the awkward bit. So anything that goes through like a bang like that, obviously not stills and fitted pipes. If you've got to make your own, this style, like a lot of chainsaws, a lot of cheaper strimmers, anything, anything with a bang like that. Even if you go straight through the tank, you don't got to go through a, a, a plastic a rubber bang. If you go straight into a pipe, anything like this, this is the way to do it. Um, they haven't gone, but they are getting a bit bad, so I thought I'd do a video on it. And this is how I change it. I've done lots of them like this. So, first thing to do, move it back. The light is awkward, isn't it? But I'm still. One second. First thing to do, drain the fuel out. I prefer to drain them out outside, to be honest, though, because of the fumes. But I'll drain it out now. I couldn't find a funnel. So, we'll straight into this container here. Oh, be careful. Drain them out. Drain them all out. Don't try and spill on yourself. Like I said, there's nothing wrong with this, but I'm showing you to put in new lines on, fuel lines. Right, the lines on you. Fewer lines on here, four millimeter, which lucky enough, we got some. But I usually buy the kits off eBay, it's like a, a 12 inch a foot, or whatever that is, that's longer than that. That's three foot, that's a meter. You can buy a kit of three different or four different diameters. This one is four mil. I use my vernier, but yeah, you don't got to. You just like look at it if you get it right. No, it's 5 mil, sorry. It's quite a big one on you, 5 mil. And this, pretty much the same outside. You've got to watch the inside as well, but I'll be alright. First thing I do, get a bit of wire. I always have this, this wire with me, like tying wire. Oh, i got a piece of it. Can you see it alright? Let me get it closer here. So the first thing to do, you want to hook out your filter. I'm going to use the same filter because I, I have got new ones here. But like I said, it's only a demo. Because you want to make sure you've got the right length before you put back in. So I'm going to take this off here. Be honest, I'm going to cut it off. It's easier. All right. So I'm going to cut this off. It's got a clip on it. So I'll cut that by there. And I'll pull it back out. Only work on one at a time. So which one is it? quite tight in there so is that one you can see is that one if you want you can prime eh, the bulb to get any fuel out of that pipe fuel line so pull it they tight as they go through that bung they're gonna be tight Watch you don't flick in your eyes just take it out get it out all right Plenty of lights on there, you can see it. So that's now still attached to the carb. Can you see what's going to the, the back one on the carb? So pull that off there. I should just pull off. I have to use the pliers. Like I said, all you want is pointy nose on a bit of an angle. So push down on that. You've been on here a long time from new, so it might break. Don't matter. If it don't come off like that, you have to grab it on the sides. Which are the Ooh, that's tight. It does. I want to get. It's always the awkward ones, isn't it? 
If not, you can just like cut it off. Well, I don't, or just pull it out. Yeah, I got it. Right? So, here's the length of pipe we want. When you put it back in, don't worry about the length too much here to start with. Right? But this is the trick for you. Because how are you going to get, how are you going to get, this is the trick. This is what makes all the difference. How are you going to get, this pipe in that hole is too big. That's the problem. It's getting that down in that hole. So I'll show you a trick now. What do I do? Here. I'm trying to get a light light like. That's awkward. I have got a bit of the spring in there. I can see it in there. Get that out while I'm here. It holds the. Uh, stop the cap coming off. Did it fall off? So hook that out there. That's Andy with a. Something like this. So I'll move back. <coughs> so this is the trick. You want to angle the front of this to a point. So you want a fair bit of it. Just cut it to a point. Alright? I know you're going to waste, I don't know, a few inches. But that's the only way you're going to get it in. Not that much. I've gone a bit, um, a bit much there. Just angle out to a point like that. The better the point, the easier to go in. Just make it to a point. That's the trick. And what you do then, what you do then, is go down through the hole, which you will go into a lot easier by you being a point. That's how you get into there. Push it down in the hole, right? And you should see that coming inside soon. There it is. There, I can see it. I can see on the camera. You get this then, the pliers. And you go in there and grab the right one. That's where littler ones come in handy. Push it through more. You can't grab it, just keep pushing in. There it is there. You see it inside? And then go in there. Like I said, grab onto it. I got it. Alright? So you'll feed through as well and pull. And there we through. And that's how you get through the bang there. So what you do, you can either look on you to see where you was and see the colour difference. And to there I was. Alright? And roughly either work out like that. I always give it plenty. Because you always pull it back out then. Right? Pull through. Just give it plenty to start with. You can always take a bit off, but it's harder to add it back in. Go past that then. Cut the bad off. Not the bad. The, the bit I angled. I got this to go back on now. This filter. Most usually put new filters on. But I, I have got new one, so that's why I'm not, not worried yet. Put on again. Cut this off. Because it's going to be that tight on here, it'd be hard to get off. So just snip it. That's off there. Put the, the spring on first. Right. Push it down in there. Make sure it goes over the end like that. Put your spring, make sure that goes over it. The nobble, whatever you call it. Put there. A bit tight. There we are. That's on there. That's not going nowhere. Dump that back down in there. Push them down in. If you think you've got too much, just pull some out. The wire I want. Scoop it down in. You'll we'll soon pull it around. The other way of just checking is just tip it on its side and make sure that it's reaching. Let me turn it over, show what I mean. If you want to see if you've got enough, wiggle it around and I'm going down.
So anyway, put a bit more in just to make sure. Like I said, you can always trim it back off in the future. So all it is then is trim them to the top. Put the top on. All right. So once you're happy with that, there's enough in there. Just cut it to size, but yeah, simple. You know where you're going because there's only one place it can go. You want to go similar angle to what you had before. Just push him on. You see that? Push him back onto the carb, on the inlet of the carb, carb side. Just push him nice and snug. And we start on the return pipe now. Right, we're doing both together. Got new pipes. What's on there? Simple. Pull this one back out. Next one in. Just pull it out. Oh, it's broke. That's not so good. I showed you it was perished. It's a good job in doing it. I don't think I can grab it from the inside. If I can. Wait, there. this is all good now, isn't it? You walked away, mate. Yeah, so it snapped it off. Which, in one sense, good job in doing it. Best to get it on a flat surface. There, I got him, I think. a little bit of the, the size of it, but that matter. On the return one, we've only got to go through enough just to let it just go into the tank. Oh, there's a man. So we'll just do it bigger than this. I can just break it off for me, because it'll get tight over time. Like I said, these pipes never been off before. So just give it a bit of a pull, just to break it a bit. Oh yeah, it's off. I should have uh, damaged that. So that's what we're looking for. We're looking for that much, plus the bit that I'm going to do the work on on the end. So I'd say about the snip that. Exactly the same. You've got a point them. That's all to do with the, again, the point to go in. That's what makes it. If you don't get that, you're going to struggle to get it in. Especially with the, the, the plastic tank, without the bung, because they're real tight. So push them through. I know you're wasting a, a fair bit, but it's not really, really dear stuff. What I do then, that's another tip, is leave the leave all the length on there until you pull it all through. Pull it and snip that bad off. And pull him back. Just until I can see it. I still want to be able to see it. There we are. I'm happy with it. So I'm going to copy the style of that round there. So we'll go to about there. It's all pretty much just guessing. Follow the shape round, because we'll keep it the same then when I push this on. And then just push on to the, the return there. And that's on there. There we are. Last out how to fit new fuel lines on strimmer, edge trimmer, chainsaw, anything like that. There they are down inside. You just about see. I want to be able to see them. There's the there, return, and the other one, the filter's down over this side somewhere. So that's what we want. If you did do it too long, too much in there, it won't come back this side. We'll turn this way and everything. 
it should still pop this way. Let's see what happens. Right? So there we are. Let's hope that helps someone out. A bit fiddly. But that's the best way I found to do it. Waste a little bit, but not much as we fair. You only got to cut this off on the ends. Um, you could try without cutting it if you want first. It's entirely up to you. But that's that was quite easy to go through, but some of them really hard to get into. So I suggest you have to cut it even more than that. You have to go down to a point. All right. So what I said, just these are like shop tips that I've done for many years on many different machines. So change a lot of a few lines and uh, I have no problems doing it. So if someone else wants to do it, that's what I suggest to do it. All right. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Cheers.